In today's Madden 21 breakdown, I'm going to be breaking down the curls play from the West Coast playbook and why this play is so, so effective um, as a snap throw type of play or concept. Now, if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my name is Cody, and basically what I do on YouTube is I post uh, four videos every single day with different tips and strategies for your offense and for your defense. Um, you can get those tips by clicking the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen um, But we basically upload videos at 2 o'clock at 4 o'clock at 6 o'clock and at 8 o'clock uh, P.m. Eastern time every single day. We also live stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time So um, if you want to catch me live, you can catch me uh, right here on YouTube at 10 o'clock now um, For those of you that don't know we've been doing uh, did a video earlier today kind of talking about the far tight slot um, as being one of the formations I really like out of the West Coast playbook and part of the beauty of the West Coast playbook is that it allows you to have gun bunch but also allows you some really unique fullback dives and inside type of runs that are really really effective especially down in those short yardage type of situations um, combined with that it gives you some really really good quick passes um, which we're going to go over right now so we talked about the um, the curl drag play today we're going to talk about the curls play and real quick before we jump into this, um, my number, my cell phone number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's 812-216-3644. It's also in the description, okay? Um, if you want to get my full uh, schemes that I release every single week, they're full offensive schemes and defensive schemes. So far, we've released nine of them. We're releasing our 10th scheme today. Um, all you got to do is just text me to receive those videos. Literally, my phone number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Just pull it up. Text me, let me know you want to receive those, and we'll send you one every single week. And we'll also send you the ones we've already done. And we've already covered the Carolina Bunch, the Big Nickel Over G, the uh, Gun U Trips or Y Off Trips Pats. Uh, we've also covered the Gun A Slot Offset, Split Close, all kinds of really good stuff in there. So if you want to get that material, all you got to do is just shoot me a text. Okay, so Curls. This is one of my favorite plays pretty much of all time in Madden. Um, it's been so good for so long. And when you factor in your ability as an offense to be able to use ghost routes, I think it makes it even better. So, um, again, I'm talking about ghost routes so much because I think there's such a good underneath check down. And on this play, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run two ghost routes to my backs. Both backs are going to be on ghost routes. And then what I'm going to do with my tight end um, is I'm actually going to put him on a curl route. Okay, just a simple curl route. So I have curls everywhere, hence the name curls, basically. Now, all we're going to do with the snap of the ball is we're going to motion Godwin to the left and snap the ball right there. Now, if it's man coverage, we're throwing him the ball every single time. I don't care if it looks covered or not. If it is man coverage and they don't user him, throw him the ball. So if their linebacker is on the right side of the field and it's man coverage, I'm throwing the ball to Chris Godwin every time. This little snap, as soon as I snap it, I'm throwing it right there. You see he's going to get that separation every single time against man-to-man -man coverage. It makes it really, really effective um, because of how it's going to work. Now, the next thing that you can do with this is you can actually take Mike Evans. If you want to, you can put him on a hitch route. Um, there's some pros and cons to that. Um, the hitch route's going to do a little bit better against zone, in my opinion. The curl is going to do a little bit better against man. So you can kind of leave that up to your best judgment. But what you'll notice here is what if, you know, what if their user takes Chris Godwin? Well, if their user goes to the left side, then I can just hit this low ball to the tight end right there. So if their user goes to the left, I'm going to the tight end. If the user goes to the right, I'm going to the to uh, to uh, Chris Godwin. Now, what if he goes to the left and then he goes to the right? Well, then you're just going to take one more step. Oh, we cover both. Okay, and then I got my curl right in behind it, Mike Evans. Okay. So this is really, really good against man. Um, the other thing that you can do against man for the back's sake is if you read man coverage, you can just kind of pop that route out there to the back. The one issue I have with that is I don't think it gives you the best. Um, I just don't think it gives you the best separation on this specific play. Um, it's a lot better on a couple of other plays from this playbook. Now, if you put the back on a wheel route, um, sometimes that wheel route will get out there. It doesn't this time, but uh, you can actually do some really cool stuff with this this offense um, if you do something like this right here. Right? It's it's a wheel and a swing. Um, these little combinations are actually really really effective. And what you'll see is you'll actually create, if you if you want to mix this in, you'll actually create a pretty significant switch. So you see there, by using the motion, they don't switch, and you're able to get McCoy. If you if you don't motion, like let's say I don't motion Godwin, you'll see they'll switch, and they'll, they'll that that will cross cross man. 
So that's just something to be aware of. Okay. Now, uh, as far as zone coverage goes, again, what I like to do is the double ghost routes. I really like that, and I really like the curl of the tight end. I actually really like the hitch to Evans, too, um, just because it's going to continue to help with the spacing of everything. But what you'll see, again, this, this route to Godwin is going to beat man to the inside, right on the cut. And, again, when you're quarterbacking this, you have to understand that ball snap, and it's out. I mean, as soon as, soon as he shows that he has separation – you got to get him the ball. Um, it's not something that you can wait on. The longer you wait on it, the, the worse it's going to be. Uh, the, the worse separation is going to be. And you would really just kind of in that in that moment, you know, have to make an adjustment. Um, but again, get him out here inside position. And you're trying to get that as separation against man. Now, if you wanted even better separation against man, the more outside you motion him, the better the success as far as man coverage. Um, it's just going to give him more space to work. So you see there, there's that natural pick, natural rub, comes underneath and, and is able to get that. So, you know, just kind of experiment a little bit with the motioning of this. Obviously, if they man line and press um, this route, it's going to give him, you see, he just has inside space, just simply inside space. Now, when you catch this, in my opinion, what you want to be doing, um, especially against man coverage, you want to be possession catching this curl. So right here, just possession catch it, you see. That's 10 yards, automatic. So that's that's kind of what I'm used to seeing. Now, if they're shading coverage outside and shading coverage over top, um, if they're running some type of cover one robber, um, you'll see he's going to get a lot more separation. You see that he gets pretty significantly more separation on that route, and he's able to beat that coverage. As far as zone coverage goes, the one coverage you're going to have to think about, I think, is cover two. Now, we actually do have our um, – we actually do have our yellow zones kind of taken, you know, underneath here. Um, whoops, I'm sorry, I forgot to put them on a curl too. Uh, but this is this is for five yard uh, shaded, and that the reason why I'm using this five yard shade on the hook curls is that's what people are going to do. Meaning the zone drops for the hook curls are set at five yards, so they're only going to drop to five, no matter what yellow zones on the field. They're only going to drop to five yards. The reason I'm doing that is because this is kind of going off of what we had already established with curl uh, drag. So you'll see that this thing's going to be even better because of, of what we're going to be able to do here. So let me get cover two. And again, this is, again, just basing it off of the fact that we've probably already established that we're willing to throw underneath. And now they're going to start shading those hooks. And you'll see here that one of these curls is going to come open. And most of the time, the, the, the receiver that's going to come wide open on this play uh, is going to be Chris Godwin almost every single time. I cannot tell you how many times I throw this route a game, but this thing really does. Like you see zone, just throw it, just throw it. You see how he gets underneath it. See how he gets underneath it. That's what's so cool about this play. He's going to get underneath every zone in the game, um, especially with you using these ghost routes. Get that motion out right there. He's going to come right in that little pocket. And as you can see, you're going to be able to move the ball forward. So, you know, and again, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go to cover three here, and I'm going to shade coverage down. The ghost route is going to take those flat routes and get the flat routes out of the way. That's the primary purpose for it. So, again, you get this motion here. And now you see, oh, they've come down that way. So I'm, I can take um, – I can simply hit, hit Gronkowski. And when you throw the ball – uh, like something like that where there's defender in front of it, but he's so far in front of it, he's not going to be able to make the play. One of the tips that you want to use is you want to use a high point pass and secure catch. So just high point pass it by holding L1 and secure catch. What I love about this specific little offense here is this forces them to really have to overcommit and it gets the ball out of your hands quick. I mean, we're talking like right – I mean, we're really wanting to get that ball out. We're not wanting that ball to sit in the quarterback's hands. We're wanting to get the ball out in under two seconds. That's really the goal here with this offense. It's read quick, go, and go. It's it's one, two, throw, right? One, two, throw. And we'll show you right here. One, two, throw. Right there, secure catch that every single time. They're going to have to use her that left route. Most of the time they're going to use her that left route. And so you have to be equipped to be able to beat everything on the on the backside as well. Um, so let's say they go to Chris Godwin here. I'm going to settle up, settle up, settle up, settle up. And then I can take that route to Gronk. I should have put him on a curl. If you want him to be on a streak, you can leave him on the streak. Um, the streak will help. 
you'll see here, you know, if they're not if they're not playing disciplined, most of the time if he's on a streak, they'll use him. But there are times where, you know, I, I'll just come out and honestly just probably run this almost stock. Um, I love the ghost routes. So I really want to have those, have access to be able to run those. Um, but what you see is the yellows might come up quick and you can hit that streak in behind it. Okay. But that's um, that's curls, uh, at least the first version of it. Now, the next thing that you can do is you can actually motion. You'll see here I got the ghost route and I got this curl route. Um, in this situation, if it's man-to-man, -man, you're still going to get good separation. You're still going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. However, if it's zone coverage, and let's say it's cover three in particular, you start to notice they're running a lot of cover three, bringing the coverage down, all that stuff. You go to something like this against cover three, um, you'll see either the ghost route or the route to uh, Godwin will come wide open. And what's really cool is if you know it's cover three, like if you know beyond a shadow of a doubt it's cover three, if you get this guy out here, like out to the numbers we're talking, right out there, snap, get the ball out there, click on, you see it can be almost like a snap throw if you see that window. So this allows you a lot of flexibility, in my opinion. It allows you to really get the ball out quick. I mean, um, you'll see here, this is cover two. Now, cover two will do a little bit better of a job. You see, oh, he's out there, okay, late, and then I'll sit, you know, come underneath it, as you can see. So you can you can do this multiple ways uh, is, is really what I wanted to get at. Another setup that you could do from this, I'm going to freestyle just a little bit here and give you some tips, but put the tight end on a post route. Remember, you have hot route master, so you can do that as well, and you'll see that this post route is going to wrap around and be a nice little read. They're going to be thinking about the snap throw on the other side of the field, right? And you're still, and, and for good reason. I mean, if, if they're not thinking about that snap throw, uh, they're they're not paying attention because we'll throw that as much as we want. You see that little see how it gets over, see how it gets over those slot guys. Um, even if they hard flat, right? Even if they hard flat it, um, you'll see that he's going to get over it. And we'll show you this again. Get him out here, out to the numbers. Get him out wide. If that corner goes back, takes one step. If that corner takes an initial step back, then you can hit that little snap throw. Now, you know, as far as a man to man goes on that, like let's say the cornerback. Um, sits on this right so corner oh he's set on it all right i'm gonna wait for him to come back low ball and and uh aggressive catch if i want to hit that against man uh it's not as easy to hit against man to man we'll prove that to you real quick, but you'll see um you can't hit it you just have to let him come you have to let him set up and then come back to the ball you can't just snap you can't just unfortunately snap throw it i really wish you could um but you'll see here if he's a man coverage and you try to snap throw that it's going to get picked now, one of the things that you might be able to do, and again, based on the shade, it's hard to tell that quick, but one of the things that you might be able to do, you get him out here like this, and you just kind of lob it out there to him, and you see, see that right there? You can kind of do that if you want to, but but I wouldn't risk that. That just, that to me is not consistent enough for me. Like again, just get it out here, oh, one-on-one, -on -one, back shoulder, click on. Like that's what you're literally looking for, but um it's just it's just not super super consistent. I would much rather just let him settle up and let him get the position. Uh, you'll see here, like let's say you quick throw right there, right on the break, you can't hit that. You can't hit that very easily. So, but that's curls. Um, curls is really really good. I would highly encourage you to check out the West Coast book. Check out the far tight slot. Also, if you have not already texted me to receive our our weekly videos, shoot me a text message. The videos are not posted on my YouTube channel for everyone to see. They're private videos. Only people that text in can get them. So shoot me a text message. Let me know you want me to want to receive those videos, and I will shoot them your way. Thank you guys so much for your time. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and we'll see you guys uh, on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.